I won a British 250 MX2 title back in 2008, so you know all going well today. And uh, fingers crossed, we can maybe wrap up an MX1 title as well. It'd be nice to put on my CV along with the MX2 title, and uh, it's something that I've missed the last few years. I've been Belgian MX1 champion and uh, I've raced the Dutch Championship. I've done uh, the Belgian Championship two or three times, but coming back to do a full season in the British has been great. I missed out in the MX1 Championship in 2012 behind Strybo, so. Be nice to try and wrap up today and as I say get another uh, British crown on the CV. I'm on a real good programme from uh, Kev Maguire now, so Free Flow Motors hooking me up and uh, we're, we've been working really hard at it, just trying to make sure that we speak at least once or twice every week and any programmes that he does send that I do, you know, every minute of every workout that's done and I've really been uh, finding good advantages from the, the different types of training that we've been doing, so all's on point at the moment. Yeah, we've, we've went back to, uh, you know, back to a, a formula that we know well from 2008. So back riding with Roger McGee's KTM UK setup, back on the KTM, 450 this time. Missing my brother from the, the plan, but my dad's back on the tools this year. And uh, to be honest, you know, he couldn't have done a better job. Touch wood, we've been uh, keeping the bike, uh, you know, finishing motos, finishing races. And I've been putting in the work through the week as well, doing the, the stickers and all the the wee fancy jobs that he's maybe not too keen on, so...
The day today has been absolutely great. I mean, uh, the goal was to come in and, and tie up the championship. We've done that after the second race, and the second goal then was to uh, to stand on the top step of the podium. Managed to do that as well. Uh, definitely some tough competition with uh, Christian Watley and uh, Graham Irwin. Definitely keeping me on my toes, but uh, managed to get the job done. Sealed up the championship and another overall for the season. Uh, red plate turning to gold for the last round at Fox Hill. So. All in all, it's been a great day. How did the track end up? End up decent? The track, to be honest, was really fun to ride. Uh, created a lot of good lines. Uh, just probably wasn't as rough as I'd liked it to be. Um, I'm known for liking the tracks being rough or the better. And uh, it was fast. It dried out a lot. I know uh, they were organised with a watering system, but um, I think they were expecting rain today. They didn't know whether to water or not. They ripped it up, and the moisture was there this morning. And uh, I'd say uh, it was definitely technical at the end, but faster than I would have liked. So uh, it was pretty choppy and technical, but you know, not one of my favourites of the year. Uh, you know, but definitely uh, it's out there to be raced, and we got the job done, and uh, that's it really. First MX1 title, wrapping that up. It's uh, great to put on the CV. I've won, as I said, I think before my MX2 championship back in 2008. Add this one. I've got both of them now, so uh, just hopefully. Hopefully I'm back next year to, uh, you know, retain my title, um, as it were, and, you know, it's a good series to do. It's definitely uh, a bit of extra travelling and whatnot between the GPs, but something I've enjoyed doing, and uh, it's, been, it's been definitely great and sort of highlight of my season. Have a quick grab shot. Come on, first of all, congratulations on uh, your second Maxis British Motocross Championship, your first in MX1. It's been a good season, hasn't it? Wrapping it up with a round to go. Yeah, it definitely has been a great season. Uh, you know, we've been really consistent. Uh, I think we definitely pride ourselves on that. And uh, my dad's done a great job keeping the, the bolts tight all year. And well, I've not, I've not been outside the top three in any moto. So uh, you know, that's just why at this stage in the year we've, we've been in position to win the championship. And it's great to get it tied up. Christian was riding excellent today and Graham was riding unreal in that last race. Can can definitely say uh, give him credit for that because it's uh, it's definitely a tough series to come back and compete in. You know, I'm riding the GP as well, top five in the world and to come back and get a burn up with these guys is uh, definitely impressive. So uh, keep you on, keeping me on my toes, that's for sure. And the diversity of the national championship as well, you know, uh, deep down a lot all the week ago. Congratulations on your third overall there, of course, uh, a week ago, but come in here, completely different, hard, slick, nagerie, gnarly, brutal, wind, and, uh, you know, wind catching a lot of people out. Yeah, definitely, and I was like, the highs, definitely the highs last week of uh, managing to get back on the podium, showing everyone that we were up last year with no fluke, really, and I uh, do really love this the sand. I heard Christian saying he prefers this kind of track, and uh, you can definitely see that, but... Motocross is about being consistent over everything, and uh, I wouldn't say out there is my favourite type of track, but uh, it's fun to ride, pr pr produce good racing, and uh, you know, I had a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, credit to the guys for uh, taking the, the weather on board and you know, making sure the track was in a good, good prep for whatever was thrown at us today. And uh, just thanks to everyone that's here, see all the elves everywhere my team, my mum, my dad, my girlfriend, just everyone that's helped out, the whole team has been, you know, it's been great to tie up. And uh, finally, obviously, the, the final round, 21st of September, Fox Hills, World Championship would have been wrapped up by then. I guess the goal is top five for you now in that? Definitely. Um, I've got a, a nine-point advantage over Stephen Frostard at the moment, so he's well known for making a couple of mistakes, but I'm sure he's going to be wanting that fifth place. But uh, we'll go, we'll do our best job. Just me and Dad flying out to uh, the flyway, so I'll have to spin a few spanners myself as well, but hopefully we'll get the job done and uh, come back to the British uh, to end the season on high. Okay, well, we do need to still make a red plate presentation as you are still the championship leader. Obviously, I'm sure that will turn to gold at the end of the year. But uh, for now, here's the, uh, the red plate trophy. Uh, red, red plate, as you are still the championship leader. One last close for the journalists. And congratulations, guys. And uh, we've got a present for you, Sean. <laughs> That's the worst night he's had all year. So a great day here.
round seven of the Max British Motocross Championship. Thank you to Justin Barkley, everybody here at Custom Scores, all the backroom staff, everybody that's come out and supported you guys as well. I know we had some dodgy conditions at the start of the day, but thank you.